Hey everyone, Ruff the Otter, Peoria, Illinois, Peoria County, University Street at McQueen and Thrush. Street blocked off, fire trucks, thinking fire. Okay. So they said it's a gas How far leak. Down? Okay. Okay, we'll see. It's a gas leak. See, that's vehicle five nine nine. So we got engine three out here tonight. <laughs> Do they know which house it's from? Yeah, it's ours. Yeah, it's oh, it's on the corner. Not in the foundation. And the person in the car ran. Oh, so it's a hit and run. Yeah. And Did they leave the car there and run? Oh, yeah, the car's still yeah. there. Oh, wow. It's, it's sitting right me. above my head. Oh, wow. Yeah, knocked me two foot from the, my bed. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, I see the right on the thing. Uh-huh. Okay. You walk on the side of the street, you might get a little better picture. So on the other side of this car, there is a van in the side of the house, which is why there is. Hey, at least you got Yeah, I got it. So no, it's on the other side. It's on this side. I grabbed both different ones. Hey, hey, hey. So what it is, we got a vehicle in the side of the house is why there's a gas leak. The person that was in the vehicle jumped out and ran. <laughs> so if it's not a stolen vehicle, they'll be able to find out what person owns the vehicle. I guess the young man with his parents that live in the house said that the car hit right above his head, knocked him a couple feet off his bed. So we got a hit and run with a vehicle left. I feel sorry for these folks having to stand outside when they should be in bed. But if you're just tuning in, Rough the Otter here in Peoria County, Peoria, Illinois, on the University Street between Thrush and Mc for a hit and run vehicle into the side of a house caused a gas leak. The person in the vehicle jumped out and ran. They're looking for him and trying to take care of the gas. I think pretty much now they're waiting on the city to show up to be able to shut it off from the main line at the street. Out here with Lone Wolf Community Watch. I want to do some shout outs to all my subs, thank you. For you that have not subbed, please do. If you enjoy my content, please put a thumbs up, likes. I'm out here 
almost every night or every other night when I'm not working, trying to get out as much as possible. Gonna start doing some day time shots here soon. I think I'm gonna. C five seven. That's captain. Well, we got one cop over there. I'm heading over here because it looks like he's talking to a cop. Here, I'm not going to explain it to you. Not yours. Yes, it is. It's my responsibility. I'm getting arrested, guys. Now you're resisting. Arrest. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. All I'm right, not resisting. Another. Put it down, please. Put my camera down, please. Don't break my camera. Sir, back up to you, Queen. You're going to go to jail, too. Back up. Queen. I didn't do anything illegal, sir. Failed to follow instructions. From the I'm in public, man. Public safety. It's my safety, not yours. So they're arresting Lone Wolf for no reason. So they're arresting him for no reason, saying obstructing, which he was standing lawfully on a sidewalk. There's no tape up. They just grabbed his gimbal. Sir, do you want to take custody of his camera? Yes, sir. If not, it can be tied with him out in the county. It's your choice. But I can't turn it over to somebody I don't know. That's fine. Okay. What's your name, sir? Rod Smith. Smith? Yes. Is it Rod? Is your full legal Rodney. government name or Rodney? R-O-D-N-E-Y. Okay. What's your middle initial, Rod? T. You had a birth? 8272. Okay. Where do you live at, sir? 403 McClure Avenue. East McClure. Okay. And you're willing to take his camera for him? Yes. All right. There you go. Thank you can you. stay here record all you want, but I need you to be at least this far back because if that were to explode, it could cause you death or great bodily harm, and I don't want that to happen. Understood? I understand. Thank you, sir. So, I'm going to get that information because they're not going to steal his camera. So, I have his camera. Hold on, folk. I'm trying to get his camera situated. in the truck 
He's being taken to Peoria County. vehicle he asked for a lieutenant so far he's been night been denied lieutenant I don't know if lieutenant's coming out or what's going on so so happy fuck the cops day all he's doing is standing there. Yep, fuck the pigs, James. This cop's in here trying to talk to him and everything. You can hear he's heated. Eagerly arrested. They're saying obstruction for just standing on a si legal public sidewalk. No tape up. Sergeant, for the record, could I get your name and badge number? Sergeant McMillan, Peoria Police, badge 1040. Thank you. Badge number 1040, McMillan. So now you know who started this. Sergeant McMillan, 1044. He says, call Philip on his phone. Marine that mom. Alright, folks. I'm going to stop this feed. I got to call some people. Sorry. Catch you soon.
Sorry, folks, for the blackout. Well, it looks like they're getting ready to transport him out of the sergeant's vehicle. Hey, were you watching the feed? Michael was just arrested. Supposedly obstruction, standing on the sidewalk, because what happened was a car hit into a house with a gas leak on the corner of Thrush and University. We, he was across the street, probably about 50 feet down, after the cops said not to go past the fire truck, which we weren't. A Sergeant McMillan, 1044, showed up and it's like, you need to move now. He's like, why? He's like, that's it, you're obstructing, and arrested him. So he asked for a supervisor. He's like, I am a supervisor. He's like, no, I want your supervisor, lieutenant. And no lieutenant's shown up yet, but now all of a sudden a squad car's here, and there's like three of them with his door open talking to him. He told me to cut his feed so that way I could call Marine Vet Mom and Philip, and neither one of them are answering. Yeah, so um, he's got his keys on him. The car's down here on the side street, locked up. My keys are locked in there to get into my house. On the corner of University and McQueen, right next to the Circle K gas station at McClure. Yeah. Exactly. So there are. Yeah, because I got over there just in time when uh, they started yelling and talking to him and then arrested him. So I was static running. It was black out a little bit because I was trying to get his phone out of the gimbal so I could start making phone calls and had to stop his live feed. He had 40 people in there right now and stuff and started going off and everything. But I had to give my information up to him so that way I could get his phone in the gimbal because hell if I was going to let them take it. Yep. But I had to give it up because I'm not going to let him erase anything of what he already had on his and what I have on mine. Yeah, so it's a Sergeant McMillan, uh, badge number 1044. He was driving C567. Yep, so now it's just I'm waiting to see if they're just going to give him the NTA or if they're going to take him all the way down and process him. But I think they are going to process him because they handed over his property to me. No. That's the kid from the house that snapped. And him and his parents are outside because the car that hit in the house, the guy jumped out of the car and ran. And left his vehicle in the house. 
um, it hit right above the kid's head and knocked him two feet off of his bed, so. I know. The only thing I can do is ask if I can get the vehicle keys so that way I can wait for a driver to come get the car. Yes. So, all right. Well, I'm going to let you go and make some more other calls and... <laughs> I'm going to call, yep, I'm going to call Huckleberry. All right, that's a good idea. All right. All Uh, no, uh, this is Rod. Uh, he just got arrested for obstruction. Um, on University Street here in Peoria. Um, there is a car that ran into a vehicle. Oh, hold on one second, the cop's talking to me. Um, you got some health issues, apparently? Yes. The strokes and asthma yes. or some other stuff. Okay. He's got some health issues, so he's still going to be charged for it, but he's going to get an NTA and get a court date and all that to show up. So he's not going to need a bail tonight. Okay. Okay? So just hold on to his camera, give him about 10 minutes and be back over. Okay. Just make sure we stay back when he does. Understood? Heard. Yes. Okay. All right. They're, um, they're going to let him out here in like 10 minutes, so he'll be out of the vehicle so he can head home. But what happened was he... Uh, what happened was there was a call for a hit car into a house the vehicle um, that hit into it the driver got out and ran and left the vehicle in the house it caused a gas leak there was uh, fire trucks at each end of the street and when we got here a cop told us not to go past a certain um, light pole not a problem he was across the street not past that a sergeant McMillan badge number 1044 shows up and goes you need to move for health and hazard reasons he's like well it's i'm fine where i'm at there's no tape up he's like you need to go now and he came up and like what why and he's like that's it you're obstructing and just arrest him on the spot yes oh yes I unfortunately had to give up my information so that way I could get his gimbal and phone. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. But but the thing was is he also wanted me to get his phone so that way I could start making phone calls. And that's the only reason What's that? No, he, he, he never gave me your number yet. He was going to give it to me tonight. <laughs> I will get it off this phone and have it. Yes. So. Oh, I will. And I'm still static recording on mine the whole time, so. Oh, I'm not. Exactly. Yep. The only thing I'm going to have to edit out on mine is when I gave my information.
exactly. But the thing is, they already know who I am, so... Yep. Yep. All them damn trolls. Oh, yes. Uh, within 10 minutes. And, I mean, the, the sergeant didn't even talk to him for less than a minute before he already had his hands behind his back arresting him. Oh, yes. Oh, definitely. And then we're also foying their body cameras, including the cop that told us in the first place not to go past the street light. Because I already got his um, vehicle number and the ca uh, sergeant's vehicle number. I'm hitting every point and spot that I have to as an auditor to make sure that I have everyone's name and badge numbers and vehicle numbers. Well, I'm getting the main ones that are in this factor. Yes. They're taking them out of the vehicle right now and taking the cuffs off of them. Yes. She didn't get a notification that he was live. So. Yep. Yep. Alright, they got him signing the NTA. Yep. He let him know about his medical problems and that's why he's getting NTA instead of going and getting booked and staying overnight. Nope. Not at all. Exactly. Yeah. But I don't want to. <laughs> Yep. Exactly. As soon as this cop gets done with him, I can ask him for his name and badge number. Oh, yes. So... All right, here's Lone Wolf now. Talk about it. Yep. Yep. Officer, can I get your name and badge number, please? Let's see, Bray. No, I'm still here. Officer, can I get your name and badge number, please? Nope. Did he give you his name? Stop your video and upload it immediately. 
All right, guys, I'm uploading this.